Activity 4 Effect of load on the depression of a meter scale Aim To study the effect of load on the sack that is depression of a suitably clamped meter scale loaded 1 at the end 2 in the middle Apparatus We require wooden meter scale a C clamp a pointer pin slotted weights of 50 grams each a vertical scale a clamp stand a thread, wax, etc. The meter scale loaded at its end. Procedure 1. Clamp one end of the meter scale with a C clamp at one edge of a table. Attach the pointer at the free end of the meter scale with wax. Fix the vertical scale on a stand to take the readings. Note the initial reading on the vertical scale corresponding to the tip of the pointer when no weights are suspended. Suspend a hanger with slotted weights at the free end of the meter scale and note the corresponding reading on the vertical scale. Take Three sets of observations. Find the sec delta for each load. Plot a graph of sec delta that is in centimeter against load M that is in gram weight. The graph is as shown in figure. The meter scale loaded in the middle. Locate the center of gravity of the meter scale. Place the scale on two knife edges about 80 centimeters apart, such that the knife edges are equidistant from the center of gravity of the meter scale. Attach the pointer at the center of gravity of the scale with the help of wax. Note the initial reading on the vertical scale corresponding to the tip of the pointer when no weights are suspended. Suspend a hanger at the center of, of the meter scale and note the corresponding reading on the vertical scale. Take more observations by adding slotted weights to the angle. Note the corresponding readings. Find the sag delta for each load M. Plot a graph of delta that is in centimeters against M that is in gram weight. The graph is as shown in figure. Result The graphs of sag against load show a straight line, which indicates that the sag is directly proportional to the load, that is, delta is directly proportional to load. Precautions taken while performing the activity are 1. The meter scale should be straight and in a horizontal plane. 2. The tip of the pointer should not touch the vertical scale.